Hey YouTube, what's your techie here with the review of how to get air display. What air display does, it takes whatever's on your Mac, you can choose, and it can go there. So let's close the keyboard. And uh, you see there's fully working app store. The app store that's on uh, the Mac app store is fully working. Fully working. You can move it. Like you can move it from here to here. You can open it again. You can scroll. It's a bit laggy, obviously, because it's on Wi-Fi. This will not work on 3G. And then you go and you can search. See the search comes? But then there's no keyboard, right? See that at the bottom of the page? Well, I just click on that, tap on it. It's not called click, it's called tap. And voila, the keyboard comes up. Or we could type from the original Mac keyboard, which you would not want to do, because if your iPad's over here, someone's using, playing, let's say, Infinity Blade or Real Racing 2 on this, um, uh, from the Mac App Store, and you're over here and you're typing stuff, and then the code lines come on Infinity Blade or whatever, that's like pretty stupid, so you wouldn't want to use the keyboard. You would want to use it on the iPad keyboard. It's a soft keyboard. So, like, if you don't want to carry your Mac, like, if you have an iMac, or if you have a MacBook Pro, or if you have a MacBook Air, like me, well, it's pretty light, but if you don't want to carry it around, you just want to take your iPad, it's like a go thing. So, yeah, that's better. See, I'm getting a Skype call. I mean, like, what is this? This is awesome, right? Let's close this. But there is no sound on the iPad. It's all coming over here. See, I can uh, come over here and I can end the Skype call. Um, I can end it just like that. And uh, voila. So this is just the review of um, this app. And this app is called Ear Display. And if you want to know, you can go in settings. Um, and you can do this stuff, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, and, uh, well, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Peace.